What's up guys? Today I got a quick five exercise quad smashing workout that you can do at home with bands. Exercise one, we are gonna be sitting on a bench for 30 seconds. Four sets. No, I'm just kidding. We're doing leg extensions with resistance bands. So grab yourself a low anchor point, a bench, and then I got like a little pad to give me some more elevation, but that's totally up to you. Also, I really like to use these clench anchor straps because they make it super comfortable. And then all I gotta do is hook in one, two, boom. So obviously your bench is back towards the wall so you can load yourself, but we gotta scoot away from the wall to get tension. So we want a lot of tension pulling us into this knee flexion position. Right, so that it's pulling us all the way flexed. And now we're gonna be doing leg extensions. So we're extending out, big squeeze at the top. And I'm gonna challenge you here, we're gonna do some one and a half reps. So that means we're gonna go all the way out and then we're gonna come about halfway down, pause, and then come back up. That's one rep. That's really gonna challenge your control and the eccentric of this rep. And then we're coming out again, one, and a half, make sure you're getting a big squeeze at the top. We're doing four sets of eight to 10 of these one and a half reps. And that will just light these quads up. Make sure you're using enough resistance to get a really good quad pump, but don't use too much so that you can't control the rep. You need to be able to control the rep. All right, next up, exercise two, we're doing some X-band hack squats. So you're gonna grab yourself a pair of 41 inch bands, and these you can go heavy on. So like I'll usually just warm up with the greens and then I work my way up to the biggest bands and sometimes I'll even stack like a blue and a gray together. But obviously it's totally gonna be up to you. This one, we, gotta, we want resistance and it's a very good exercise to be able to load up because we're not really putting a lot of stress on any joints and it's easy to load and unload. So we're gonna cross these bands over our chest just like this and then you're gonna step into the, the lowest band first. Step down, kind of right on the middle of your foot. The other one, same thing, step down and then just kind of adjust everything so it feels good and comfortable. Grab a foam roller and a wall. And this is gonna kind of simulate a hack squat. So I like to kind of get my feet um, out away from the wall, almost as far as I can go before it, it starts to get uncomfortable. And then we're gonna cut, and then we're doing hack squats. So we're going down, get as much knee flexing as you can, pause a little bit, and then explode back up. See that, I might have been just a little bit too far away from the wall, so I'm gonna scoot my legs back. Ooh, and these are just grinders. We're doing four sets of eight to 12 reps, and make sure to load that resistance up. Next up, we're jumping into a single leg exercise, so we're gonna do front foot elevated split squats, and basically grab like a, I'm using a clench foot plate here, obviously, with a riser kit to get a few inches off the floor so that my front foot can be elevated, but you can use anything, a stack of magazines, uh, some weight plates, a box, whatever you have, just to get at least a few inches off the floor. And obviously, the further off the floor you get, the more that it's gonna isolate that quad. You don't wanna get too far off the ground, but a few inches should be sufficient. I'm using the foot plate because I like how comfortable it is. I can just string my band right underneath of it. And now I'm gonna load into this split squat, lunge position, get this band right up on my front delt. And we're split squat, so we're gonna keep our toe down or our rear toe on the floor the whole time. And then we're just going down and back up. And you may wanna adjust yourself just a little bit because it's nice to have that knee where it doesn't hit the foot plate that, or whatever your rising, uh, your riser is. That way we get a little bit more knee flexion and then we're just grinding this out, staying nice and vertical and controlling it. Don't pound your knee on the floor, just kiss it gently off the floor. Eight to 10 reps, switch sides, do the other side. And we're doing four sets of this. Make sure to try to increase that resistance with each set. All right, last exercises, we're gonna do a superset here. We're doing sissy squats or Roman chairs, whatever you wanna call them, with a wall sit to failure. This, the way that I like to set these sissy squats up is I use an anchor strap and I bring it kind of just below knee height 
And then I grab a 41 inch band. You want it to be a pretty heavy one because you're gonna be supporting your body weight. And then you basically string that band through the anchor strap, fold it in half, and then you're gonna put one leg in each side of the band. And of course, whatever you're anchoring to, make sure that it is very sturdy and it's not going to move because you are going to be trusting this anchor with all of your body weight. And then I like to get this band kind of right up um, on the top side of my calves, just below the knees, but not so that I'm pinching it in my knee when I'm going down here. And then I like to preload this band to get some tension so that it's pulling my knees into flexion. And then you're gonna sit down like you're sitting into a chair as vertical as possible, as much flexion as possible. And then we're gonna squeeze up. And then at the top, you're gonna flex those quads as hard as you can. Big squeeze, big engagement, and then transition. Everything on this, this exercise is all about slow and controlled time under tension. <sighs> big squeeze. If you need to position yourself a little bit better, go right ahead. And we're shooting for eight to 12 reps here which should be excruciatingly hard to get to that eight to 12 reps. And then when we're done, you're gonna set, step out, and immediately get yourself into a wall sit, 90 degree angle here. And then you're just gonna run it as far as you can until the wheels fall off. And this is going to suck. But I want you to target like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and beyond, and just feel the burn in these quads and I'm already feeling it, but you're gonna love this one. So we're doing three sets of this super set here, eight to 12 reps, and then immediately into the wall sit to failure. All right, that is all I got for you today. And at this point, if you did this right, your quads should be smoked. Give me a high five, thumbs up in the comments if your quads are smoked, and let me know what you liked about this workout. Furthermore, if you like what you saw today, be sure to smash that like button. If you want more workouts, exercises like this, check out the on-screen video links. We've got tons of content on this channel just like this. And furthermore, if you need any of the bands or accessories shown today, head over to clenchfitness.com. We will hook you up and thank you for watching.